You can do all kinds of interesting things with soft ground. Here we're going to talk about how to apply textures from stuff right onto the plate. So I've got a plate coated in hard ground and it's on the center of my etching press. And the press is set up as usual, normal pressure, whichever press you're comfortable with. So you can see that I'm placing items on top of the plate very carefully, placing them down exactly where I want them. I'm using thin stuff, squishy stuff, malleable stuff. I would never ever use metal or a coin or anything like that, but I've got thread, I've got a piece of tarlatan, I've got a branch, a thin branch from a tree. All sorts of things can go onto a plate. Once I've got them in place, I need a piece of wax paper. The wax paper is actually going to protect my blankets from the soft ground. And remember, you have to be careful with soft ground. If you touch it with your fingers, you're going to leave a fingerprint, which will either etch if you were to put it into the ferric chloride or is going to need to be stopped out. So very gently, I place my blankets down over top of my plate with the wax paper, and I'm going to roll it through once. So gently and carefully, I'm going to flip the blankets up and out of the way and see what my plate looks like. You can see the wax paper is really squished down onto the plate and you can see the, some of the texture items that I've placed there. And very gently, I lift up the wax paper, mostly because I don't want the plate to stick to the wax paper and flip the plate off the press bed and onto the floor. So here is our plate on the right and here is our wax paper on the left. And you can see that most of the items came off the plate, but the fairly juicy bit of branch stayed stuck to the plate. So now very carefully, I'm gonna to try to remove it with my knife. I'm really trying not to touch the plate at all here. It's important to get as much of the stuff off the plate as possible, but it may not be practical to get every little speck because the likelihood is that I'm going to begin to hit the plate with my knife and potentially damage the very fine texture that I've put in place here. So as we get a closer look at the plate, under the reflection you can see evidence of all of those textures. They don't look like hard ground drawings, they're not hard ground drawings at all, but rest assured that all of that stuff is going to etch. So here's our plate again uh, up close and I've still got a little bit of residue as I mentioned before but I'm not too worried about it. But what I want to point your attention to are the areas in between the texture. So around my branch and in between the leaves, in between the pieces of thread and around the tarlatan, all of those areas will have a kind of irregular looking texture applied to them and that has everything to do with the fact that the wax paper touched them. So here's a plate that was prepared very similarly, but this has been etched. This has been etched for an hour. And you can see all kinds of texture in the background. You can also see, I think, pieces of um, tarlatan and string and that sort of thing. But all of that texture in the background, when it's allowed to be etched and then printed, will do this. So there's no aquatint on this plate whatsoever. All that stuff you're seeing in the background is really just kind of bits of the soft ground that have been pulled away by the wax, exposing the copper and allowing it to etch. Now you may like that, but you may not. You may want to be able to highlight the items that you placed on the plate and make uh, to make texture with. So you're gonna have to stop out. Here's a plate that has been treated with soft ground and then had a dry, thin leaf pressed into it and then etched. But one other little step took place and that was that I stopped out using our stop out varnish all around the texture of the leaf. I spent quite a lot of time hunched over with a brush and stop out covering up the parts of the plate that I did want to etch before this ever went into the ferric chloride. But the difference is quite profound from not stopping out. Here I have beautiful, beautiful, fine and delicate texture coming from the leaf, but the edges uh, and the surrounding negative area were really, really clean. So, to give you an idea of what this looks like, I've got my plate. This is the plate that we, we just prepped. Here's my stop out varnish, the goopy black stuff, and a brush. And I'm going to begin very carefully stopping out anything on the plate that I don't want to etch. So in many ways, this is the same as doing hard ground. If there are parts of your plate that you don't want to eventually 
be etched in acid and consequently print, you're going to need to stop them out. And this is the most tedious part. So you carry on from there and you cover the plate until it is protected to your satisfaction. You may have employed some of your own brushes, some fine brushes for details or some nice new brushes for the wider areas. But once the plate is ready, once it's been coated to your satisfaction and you've got MacTac on the back, you put it into the acid for one hour. Oh, and here's a bonus. You don't need to aquatint. That's right. No aquatint necessary.